I'll go on Chaptico, which is real close to it. That's a fourth. Well, I was born there October 30th, 1905. I was born in a kitchen with midwives. You can go to the hospital in those days. You know, they had midwives. You were born in the kitchen with a big bowl of hot water, towels and rags and everything. And my father had a little store there. He also had a crop of tobacco at uh, Morganza, where he was born. And the crop failed, he got about $100 for it, and he moved to Washington then. Got a job on the fire department. And we were, we were then, and my earlier days of life were in Northeast Washington. My father was a fireman. Well, we were down here constantly. Of course, I, I, I was raised, and every spare moment was spent at our farm at Clements, which we now have added to with the Turner Farm, later called the Green Farm. Went for a while to kindergarten, then to grade school in D.C. Then we moved out of the northeast part of Washington when I was about seven or eight years old, out to Kenilworth, mm -hmm. which is suburbs then. And that's how I got interested in music. We, I sold always in D.C. and out there in Kenilworth, the Washington Star. I sold it and served it. And one day, I heard the music coming out of this house on Olive Street in Kenilworth. And I banged on the door. An old gentleman came to the door. He looked old to me, but since then I realized he was only about 65. And I said, uh, uh, would you like to buy a paper? He said, no, don't read papers. Don't like them. Go away, he said. I said, wait a minute now. I'll give you one. Oh, he said, that's the difference. So I said, by the way, I said, what was that music I heard coming out the window? He says, you like music? I said, I love it. I said, my mother used to take me up Maryland Avenue to listen to the Marine Band play at the Capitol. He says, I belonged to the Marine Band. I'm retiring now. He says, you come on in here, boy. So he played me some music on the bassoon, and, uh, and, and we struck up a friendship. I said, I want to take music lessons. He says, you're too little. You can't play a bassoon. Well, he said, I have a clarinet here. And he brought out a little clarinet about so long. It's called an E-flat. And uh, I took lessons, 50 cents an hour. And I'd stay there all day. And he taught me to play the clarinet. When I was 14, I became a member of the American Federation of, of Musicians, Local 161, which I still belong to. I'm a life member. When you in 50 years, you become a life member. When I got to be 17, I was doing very well in the theaters and playing for Meyer Davis, the big orchestra leader. He had all the big work and all the embassy work. That was our principal work, was playing for these very fine social events in the different embassies of Washington, D.C. The first uh, long pants suit I had was a tuxedo. Gail was $7 for three hours. If you had to wear a tuxedo, it was $9. If you were playing for Meyer Davis, he paid you $5 an hour. And so you made more money. If you played all night, which was very frequently so, he paid you a bonus. He was very generous, very nice. 